You want to be on the bike when we throw your ass out of here? I want to see somebody throw me out of here. You sure? Let me go. Help! Help my What's up, people? Welcome back. And get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of rude customers on hardcore pawn. Let's hop into it. Number one, Atlantic Ocean. A guy walks in wanting to sell something like a treasury thing he found in the Atlantic Ocean in a boat that he wants to fix using this money. Let's see. Um, it was in the Atlantic Ocean, 350 feet deep. The one you're bringing me actually has not even a gold charm holder on it. I can actually give you silver content for it because that's all it's worth. 13 bucks. Oh God, I just know that this guy won't be having none of this shit and the store is about to explode because of his angriness. Why, what, what's the matter? Why are you bringing this big- You're bringing him Oh over. my God, yo, seriously. Why, why are you bringing this big Sasquatch dude over here? Oh, not smart. You, you really want to go- you, you intimidate me? You intimidate me? What man? What's happening, my man? He's messing this shit up right now. If he even dares to get any closer to Byron, he will be pulled outside the store and beaten up. Yeah, look at you. you watch when you put your hands on. You know what? You guys suck. What a guy, to be honest. He really thought he could win against Byron. Is he blind or something? Thank God he was taught an unforgettable lesson. Number two, broken bike. A guy walks in with what he claims to be a raggedy ass bike, and he's here to either exchange it, return it, or just cause a scene, to be honest. Yeah, man, I need to exchange this raggedy ass bike. Brakes, Sam? I just want to exchange bike. Yeah, I'd be more than to take care of you, but you just need to bring me the receipt. I don't have no, sir. When did you buy it? Bought it from here last week. I come in here all the time. I spend a lot of money in here. Flat tires, seats all messed up. Bull man. I see we started with the attitude. Thank God Byron was there since the very beginning because this will escalate in the second. I mean, coming in yelling isn't the answer. You know, you want to be taken care of and treated nicely. You come in like a gentleman without ranting and raving. You want to be on the bike when we throw your ass out of here? I want to see somebody throw me out of here. There it goes. There it goes, everyone. This stupid guy really dug his own freaking grave, to be fair. Now let's see him be kicked out. I don't need this <laughs> this store. That <laughs> this bike. Yo, <laughs> America jury alone. Need training wheels, we'll sell you some. Like Eddie Rob's bike. <laughs> Now that was per comedy, really. If the problem is that he cannot ride a bike himself, that's not our problem, right? Number three, fake ring. A woman walks in with her friend to try and sell her ring, but something tells me this won't end well. Let's see. All right. I'm sorry. It's not real. What? It's not real. What do you mean it's not real? Don't, it's not real gold. Well, I bought this from here. He didn't buy that from here. So what you can do is go home, find that receipt, and bring it in. You're just a smart ass, ain't you? Now who the hell let you come in here and talk to Ashley like that? Girl, this isn't even your ring, no matter how much you talk. That's my grandmother. Can, you trying to hold her? Can, can, can we just get to the bottom? Can we just We need you? something from yeah, up out of here. You about like, to run I something. I feel like I should I am. a ring, I some money. Like I I don't make no threat. Before anything I wanted to mention, did she say that's her grandma? Because she looks way too young to be that. But anyways, this grandchild needs to chill now. I just know she's gonna get her ass whooped for sure, but I'm not scared for her. I'm scared for anyone around her because she might be dangerous with that size. Number four, angry wife. A woman requests her wedding band be returned as she approaches the window, but surprise, in actuality, her spouse pawned it. Examine this. I was doing my husband's laundry this morning and I pulled his wallet out. There's a pawn slip from you guys. So I put it back in his wallet. So your husband stole your wedding ring? Yes. Did you make a police report? No, I didn't make a police report. The hell am I gonna make a police report for? Okay, to tell the truth, this woman is right. Why would she call the cops on her husband while she's trying to sort out their money issues? Give me my ring. You bring your butt out here and you assist me out. Wait. Isn't this woman rather fearless? Ashley damaged the window for crying out loud, so she's almost screaming at her. I hope Ashley has a peaceful resting place as she is now going. Go back I'm there, not. give me my How are you? You can't just go back there and type in a name? It's time to go. Up yours. I want to see you walk oh, outside. Come please. on. Bitch, I'm gonna come back and get my I promise. There's no doubt that this woman is crazy. Just let Ashley talk for heaven's sake. Let her talk like a freak and you'll understand all that you didn't know before, but you choose to be banished. Number five, big argument. There's a mystery behind all that trash, but a woman steps in looking really angry. Her partner apparently got into a heated quarrel with her and left immediately away, despite the fact that she needed to return to Hawaii. 
I'm here with my man. Got in a big argument and he left me, so I need to he get back home. He left you here? Oh yeah, he left me. And I got to get back. Back where? To Hawaii. Oh really, where about? Honolulu. You gotta hurry up. Damn, it takes that long. How come she is in such a hurry? What the heck is wrong with you rushing Ashley when she's here just doing her friggin' job, I mean? It's an African pearl. That's what it is. Is it actually a Tahitian pearl? No. This yeah. is from Africa. This is an African pearl. It might be from Africa, but these are Tahitian pearls. Pearls are Okay, black. so how much is it worth? It's gonna be under 600. My ticket costs 600. That's how much I need. Do you have anything else? No, bitch. Did that woman really just call Ashley a friggin' bitch? If so, what the heck is wrong with her? Actually, I'm really worried since I'm mad at the moment. No, I'm, not I'm not leaving no place. Yes, you are. Oh, Honey, that, you don't have that kind of money. All right. Yeah. If you want some help, talk to us like a human being. Who the f they think they are? F them. I truly had no idea why she entered the room and made such a stinking scene without any obvious reason. Someone should let her know that we don't really care before she enters. Number six, stupid friend. A woman wants to return her TV, so she goes right to the window, but she doesn't have a ticket or any identification at all. Thus, she is there to cause problems, and this is already troublesome. You're not in our system at all. Can you check again? We have no Gabrielle Adams at all. What type of business is this and you can't find me in the system? You're not in here. Did you see how she was looking at you? She looked at you like you were stupid. Not really her buddy. It was simply an attempt to get her to make a big deal out of nothing. How precisely are you making this argument when the girl was gazing at both of you normally? Not Even I look yeah. three times. No, that was not what you're no, 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 Let me, I can resolve this. And you come back here and take I saw all of I have very pretty and very useful eyes. Thank you, I saw all of it. This thing is going nowhere fast. This issue is just going to get worse, as Les mentioned. How could it be this foolish? All you are, really, is not part of the system. And my, how well your eyes function. I checked three times for them. I know. Don't come into my store disrespecting my employees. You got me twisted. Eat that doo doo. They gonna find me and my I know I will be coming back to this piece of That's it for me. I see. So you won't be returning at all? I find myself feeling so upset about this that I'm at a loss for words. You're too much, honey. So thank God you're not still here. Number seven, feet smell. A woman walks up to the window and asks to redeem her coat, probably because she pawned it here and now wants it returned. Let's examine her stunning new coat. Oh, uh-uh. Excuse me. Yes, no, ma'am. This is not how I bought my coat in. How did you bring it oh, in? Oh, no. It smelled like roadkill. I bought my coat in smelling like road. And this smelled like feet, booty. I, I mean, what's going on back here? We gotta keep my coat. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I think I must have sneaked in, picked at my feet, and maybe urinated on it. Who the dumbass is that to do? Exactly none. So that's all that matters to you, my darling. Up in here. Would you like me to spray some uh, Thank you very much. I appreciate it. If you got a coat in here, it's gonna smell like roadkill. Tell me what it smells like. No. Oh, Lord Jesus, you're about to make me fall out. She should be an actress for sure. One hell of an actress for that matter. The way she acted like she fainted. I mean, she should star in a Bollywood movie. No, uh-uh. That's that right. Feet and ass. That's right. What Please. we're going to do, we're going to keep this in the yeah. back. Yeah, you when need to you do do something with that. When you decide that your no. nasal passages no. are open, thank you. This coat is just pathetic. And I'm gonna blackball your bitch! What's the deal, honey? You've just damn almost lost your coat. You're probably acting pretty foolishly right now, and I have to admit, it irritates me a lot. Still, I'm relieved you're no longer here. Number eight, platinum bracelet. Yes, you read that right. A woman walks in trying to sell a bracelet that she says is exclusive to her, distinct in every manner. So let's look into it to find out if it is or not. I'd like to put money for this. This is a one of a kind. My boyfriend took me on an African safari. Oh, how fun. Was, I'd yeah. love to go there. It was so much fun. This is Blight Platinum with Onyx. How much are we looking to get today? Well, he paid about $4,000 for it. So I was looking for at least $3,500. It's a really cool bracelet. Thank you. Um, but it's not platinum. Oh no, I'm scared now. Like, I'm full-on scared. What's funny about Hardcore Pawn is that they actually never beat around the bush, and they tell it straight to your face. Scary. And you also said it was Onyx? Like Onyx. Onyx is a stone. If it was Onyx, it, I would see a stone in there. I see that it's painted. Oh. I see real. Okay. Real platin. Platin with a P. Well, what I see is fake. Ashley could take it no more. Really. Awful. I can understand her perspective since, in all honesty, I think she has the mindset of a clown. For God's sake, act like a regular person. Here's Let me tell you something, door. girl. Hey, hey. Go touch uh, me, you big bully. I am tired of you. Keep walking. That's right. Girl, keep walking. Girl, keep walking. Girl, keep walking. Girl, you don't tell me what to do. This is my real, flight, flat, honest, present ass. Oh. Ass, Ashley. Ass, Ashley. This
this woman really has courage to say that. Was I the only one who saw her intense fury at all of that nonsense? But A for ass? That is a rather creative statement. In any case, I'm relieved she's not here. Number 9. Foxy Lady. This lady enters with the intention of making a nice profit on the coat she is sporting. But no, no, no. My sweetheart, it's not going to work. Nevertheless, she entered quietly and left furious. How much you want? At least a thousand. It's very pretty. So how much would you give me? I'll give you a hundred. It was a tremendous mistake now, Les. This woman's sassiness has the ability to kill us all. Therefore, the mistake you just made might cost you your life. Okay, you got me up. Mm -mm. It's Fox. This is a rabbit, a bird, whatever the I want it to be. Bird or rabbit, what the hell does she want it to be? Yes, my darling, in your fantasies, in your ombre photos. Make a hundred dollar bill. You better call security up in this bitch. Security? How you doing? You my security too? There you go. Oh, y'all motherfuckers don't know who y'all fing with up in here. Mother mean coat. Fuck. It's a mink, baby. You see a lot of strange things at American jewelry. She genuinely fell victim to the trap. You know, she turned from being so poised and self assured to shy and yelling and spreading nonsense. Number 10. Baseball cards. This woman enters and begins to divulge every delicious detail of her fucking life. Is she attempting to persuade Ashley to pay this ridiculous price? It won't work, in my opinion. I'm trying to get my baby daddy out of jail, and I've been really trying to work things out with us. I was his first phone call, you know, so that lets me know that he loves me. Huh? He called me. I'm just saying. <sighs> the identical Ashley. The same. I know you're just trying to be kind, but you're talking much too much. Did you honestly think Ashley was pressuring you to get into a relationship straight away? Okay, I can help you, but not for that much. Yes, for that much. This bag right. is worth at least a good 4000 by itself. This one, this one's a good one. You want like 50 bucks? I say it. I don't care what you said. Yes, Ashley. Put a stop to her right away. Connect with her as a bird. She's trying so hard, without actually trying, to get her message across. There's no denying that this woman is insane. I understand everything! You want to know I can $1,500? Yes, I want $1,500! Let's play some sports. $100! No, no, I'm not leaving them out of here! No, don't give me no damn hug! I don't want to hug you! Kiss my ass! Oh! That was the last thing I wanted to see. Better expressed as, I didn't need to see that. This woman just kind of loudly and furiously yelled, but for what purpose? Number 11, big earrings. A woman appears to know what size she wants as she walks into the store with the goal of buying jewelry, namely hoops earrings. It irritates me, so let's see how picky she gets. Do you like bigger than that? Yeah, bigger. Bigger is better. You have more down here? Do you like something like these? Those are even smaller. Okay. Okay, do you not know the definition of large? I said big. Bigger is better. You want them with large? I want them bigger. Bigger. Bigger is better. I intend. You seem to be living up to this philosophy because, well, you always aim high and you're just too large to be true. So please, just cut it out. You've been in the tandem boot too long. Maybe that's why you can't comprehend what's going on here. Can someone help me? Hello? Can somebody help me back here? Listen to me. Listen to me. I Oh, Ashley, shit. I have no idea why in the world you said that you will receive justice, because I am aware that it will sting you in the face. Good luck. I'm about to break my eardrums. Miss, miss, have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. Lady, why is it so serious? Why do you want these big, huge, gaudy earrings? You're doing damage to your earlobe. Think about yourself. Anyway, with your enormous plump ass standing on the counter and howling like a dog, how in the world can you even have the arrogance to call Ashley dumb and orange? Number 12. Expensive guys. A couple of guys enter the store with the intention of purchasing two TVs and two iPads. These two are far too costly to be present in the pawn store at all. With all due respect, Gold Family. 16 of them. 3500 3500 Hell no. Hell no. 25 piece, my man. 25 what? 25 dollars. A piece, man. How much you have there? Count it up. Count it, man. You tell me. You count it up. Man, what's up, man? Did they really think they had all the money in the world when they slapped God knows how much one dollar on the counter? What is the estimated cost that they will incur for each item? Put that money in your pocket. No, nah, we straight. You're not getting the iPads because they're not what you want to pay for them, so you're not going to get that. I just don't feel comfortable running the store all day without security. We ain't leaving, man. That's what's happening. 
So if we gonna work the deal, or y'all gonna have to make something happen? Oh my god, no. You will no longer be playing games with Leslie and Seth. Please consider carefully before allowing us to demonstrate our excessive kindness. My dude, stop talking so much. How about you? How about How about you? All right. Have a nice day, sir. Don't forget your package. We off, man. Man, I'm telling you, it's crazy. Oh, man. Unreal. I'm relieved that Leslie and Seth were able to remove these two idiots on their own, and thank God, they are no longer in office. As an aside, they sent their security guards home for the day. I'm looking for a power steamer. Power steamer? No, I don't have a power steamer. So, power washer. Power washer? It's gonna be right here. How many RPMs? It's a GPM. Where's your worker? I I'm a worker. I can help you. You don't know about tools. Okay, you're just a female, a dumb female. What's up, people? Welcome back. And get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of actual idiots on hardcore pawn. Let's hop into it. Number one, grandma necklace. A guy walks into the pawn shop to try and sell his grandma's necklace, and he's looking for a certain price that's actually quite impossible for different reasons. Check it out. 2000. Mm hmm. Problem with it is, it's not real. What you mean is this is not gold. As you can see, the color's coming off. No, 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 no. See, jury cleaner would do just a perfect job on it. It won't know? because this is copper. He's getting pretty mad, everyone, and I'm honestly not here for it. So let's hope shit does not go south because his ass will be kicked out. But shit is heating up for sure. Because I know my jury. Really? Yep. What is this piece called? That's, that's the, uh, the uh, magnifying glass. Mm -hmm. What is it called? A jeweler's loop. Huh? A jeweler's loop. I can't give you any money. I'm kidding. Nope. What about him repeating his question for the millionth time? No, man. Les is not kidding you for sure. You are getting nothing. Not a thing. Mm, nothing. I'm not leaving out of here with no money, man. Mm. Give me somebody up, up, else up in there that He's going to help you to find hey, someone. To uh, Apparently, I know nothing. Nothing. Call it nothing. Call it knowing. But what's actually funny is that he actually started talking about getting nothing when I told him that previously. Damn, I'm a genius. But thank God he's out. Number two, power steamer. A guy walks into the store looking for a power steamer, and Ashley is the only one there to help him because Seth and Leslie went on a trip to go buy something. Check it out. I'm looking for a power steamer. Power steamer. No, I don't have a power steamer. So, a power washer. Power washer. It's gonna be right here. How many RPMs? It's a. GPM. Where's your worker? I, I'm a worker. I can help you. You don't know about tools. Okay, you're just a female. A dumb female. You're just a female. A dumb female. Wow. This guy is honestly so low for brutally saying that. I think nowadays all the so-called females will hunt you down and stop your misogynistic ass. Okay. Well, what you standing here for? I'm over here with her. She gonna help me. No, she can't help me. I need a guy to help me. Oh, trust me. She can help you. No, she can't help me. Okay, she's stupid female. How's that? Because she don't know what I want. She can't be too stupid. She own a store. Oh, the security guy's reply just made this guy question everything he said towards Ashley. Because yes, my guy, this is literally one of the owners. <laughs> okay, we outside. What's okay. going on? Okay, so put your money where your mouth is. Get your you want to do anything? My money right here. Last man smacked me was a damn doctor. I'm looking for him. Okay, well, let's do that then. You have a nice day. You know. Seems that a girl broke his heart and broke him in general, Ashley. But this security guy is now officially my favorite. He did show him the money, and his reply about the doctor got me cracking. Number three. Phone call. This woman doesn't have her ticket, yet she proceeds right to the window believing she pawned her microphone. Furthermore, yet, there's another major issue we have. Look into this. We give the customer a buy sheet or we give them a pawn sheet. It is not our responsibility once they leave the window. She didn't look at the piece of paper she had when she walked away, so she didn't know she sold it. That's her fault, not ours. When you sold us the merchandise, you got a ticket. No, I so lost where is it. it. You lost it? Yeah. Okay. So what do you want me to do? She sold us some merchandise. Now she's back a few weeks later, wanting her merchandise back. It doesn't work like that. How could she be so ignorant as to be unaware that she had sold it rather than pawned it? I realize that I'm often in awe of people, but this woman is the height of foolishness. Okay, so I just make a phone call. A little My phone call? My brother be up here to handle y'all mother <laughs> Come with me. No, Please, ma'am, come with me. Nobody threatens me without a response. This is okay. my chair. Well, you need you to really get up. You need to get up. You need to I'm get up. I'm not getting up. Get up. This woman is about to learn a very hard lesson. She's actually threatening them now. Really? She answered a phone call that she thought would be helpful, but it would be her last. Go I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. No I'm not going nowhere. That's where my car at. Damn. What? Bitch, move. I'll probably be mad too, you know what I'm saying? I'll let you just wait in the head now. Ooh, I'm mad. <laughs> 
it seems that others have also noticed these eyelashes, don't they? It hurts for me and her eyes to simply look at this stuff. At least she moved on and is no longer dealing with such nonsense. Number 4. Feet Smell A woman walks up to the window and asks to redeem her coat, probably because she pawned it here and now wants it returned. Let's examine her stunning new coat. Oh, uh-uh. Excuse me. Yes, no, ma'am. This is not how I bought my coat in. How did you bring it oh, in? Oh, no. It smelled like road kill. I bought my coat in. It smelled like road. And this smelled like feet, booty. I, I mean, what's going on back here? We gotta keep my coat. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I think I must have sneaked in, picked at my feet, and maybe urinated on it. Who the dumbass is that to do? Exactly none. So that's all that matters to you, my darling. Up in here. Would you like me to spray some uh, Thank deodorant? you very much. I appreciate it. If you got a coat in here, it's gonna smell like roadkill. Tell me what it smells like now. Oh, Lord Jesus, you're about to make me fall off. She should be an actress for sure. One hell of an actress for that matter. The way she acted like she fainted. I mean, she should star in a Bollywood movie. No, uh-uh. That's my like feet and ass. That's right. What feet. we're going to do, and we're going to keep this in the yeah. back. Yeah, you need to do When you decide that. that your no. nasal passages no. are open, thank you. This code is just pathetic. And I'm gonna blackball your bitch! What's the deal, honey? You've just damn almost lost your coat. You're probably acting pretty foolishly right now, and I have to admit, it irritates me a lot. Still, I'm relieved you're no longer here. Number six, oil paintings. A man walks in with a couple of oil paintings that are signed, but get this, he has no clue who signed them at all. I mean, this is weird as hell. Check this out, please. Was your uncle a collector of fine art? Oh, this guy, if you walk into his uh, his office, it's a museum. Right. What did your uncle you do? Um, we, uh, after the houses get foreclosed, we go in and we clean them out. Hmm. So what cut of this do you get? He, he's gonna probably give me half. I'm thinking $600. I love the look on both of their faces. It's priceless. Oh, and so is the painting, by the way, because there's no way on earth this will score $600. All right, wanna do a little bit of research, Ash? Kind of sewer? I don't use big words. <laughs> I get money and see so what wait, it's worth. If Seth was to offer you $10, how much would you get and how much would your uncle get? 50-50 split. For 10 bucks, for 10 bucks. I wanna know if he knows, kind of sewer. For 10 bucks? This guy is just here for the money, as he mentioned himself, but I have a feeling there's more to it, because he really is trying to score a deal with a couple of pieces of junk. Let's see him do a math test with Ashley now. The problem is with him, it just takes a long time to deal with him and you end up with nothing. Well, well this last guy- time I checked, you put me in charge. I'm just trying to help you out with some of the decisions that you make. No matter what I think, I put him in charge. He has to learn on his own. I don't, why the hell all this happened? I mean, he really is a customer like any other. So, Ashley, I have no clue why you made a fuss out of that whole situation. I applaud Seth, nonetheless. Number seven, big earrings. A woman enters the store with the intention of purchasing jewelry, namely hoops and earrings, and she seems to know what size she wants. I find it annoying, so let's see how fussy she can be. Do you like bigger than that? Yeah, bigger. Bigger is better. You have more down here? Do you like something like these? Those are even smaller. Okay. Okay, do you not know the definition of large? I said big. Bigger is better. You want them with large? I want them bigger. Bigger. Bigger is better. I mean, you appear to be living up to this motto because, well, you're too huge to be real and you always go for the big things. Thus, please just stop talking. You've been in the tandem boot too long. Maybe that's why you can't comprehend what's going on here. Can someone help me? Hello? Can somebody help me back here? Listen to me. Listen to me. I Ugly. All yeah. right. All right. Oh shit, Ashley, I have no freaking clue why the hell did you think saying that will bring you justice? Because I know it'll just bite you right in the ass. Good luck. Hello. About to break my eardrums. Miss, miss, have a good day. Doors have a good day. Have a good day. Lady, why is it so serious? Why do you want these big, huge, gaudy earrings? You're doing damage to your earlobe. Think about yourself. We successed. Greater is better. All right, we actually found it. Anyway, with your enormous, plump ass standing on the counter and howling like a dog, how in the world can you even have the arrogance to call Ashley dumb and orange? Simply leave now. Number eight, expensive guys. Two guys walk into the store wanting to buy a couple of TVs and a couple of iPads as well. These two seem way too expensive to even be standing in the pawn shop. No offense to you, Gold family. 16 of them. 3,500? 3,500, man. Hell no. No. 25 piece, my man. 25 what? 25 dollars. A piece, man. How much you have there? Count it up. Count it, man. Can you tell me? Count it up. 
Man, what's up, man? Did they seriously just put God knows how much one dollar on the counter thinking they have the money of the world? How much do they think they will be paying for each item? Put that money in your pocket. Nah, we straight. You're not getting the iPads because they're not what you want to pay for them, so you're not going to get that. I just don't feel comfortable running the store all day without security. We ain't leaving, man. That's what's happening. So if we gonna work the deal, or y'all going to make something happen? Oh, hell no. You won't be messing with both Seth and Leslie anymore. Make sure you think twice before we show you how we can be too nice. Shut the hell up, my man. How about you? How about you? Have a nice enough. day, sir. Don't forget your package. We off, man. You, man. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Oh, man. Unreal. Thank God these two dumbasses are out. And I'm glad Leslie and Seth managed to do it by themselves. Because just so you know, they sent their security home for the day. Number nine. The pimp, a guy, has been apparently waiting in line for two hours. I don't know if I should believe him or not. But let's just go with the flow. I know he's about to steer up some shit. The pawned a game system. We said we can give him $110 for it. You know, here's your ticket, just sign it. I ain't you need gonna to sign. Gonna, I'm not going to worry about sign it. Sign it, yeah. I'm, not, I'm done talking to you. My guys in the front, don't mess up. When we quote your price, we quote your price. And I'm now not give your money. He should really be signing that shit and ending it really quick because if he doesn't, this shit is about to blow up in his face while he thinks he owns the freaking store. I told you once I don't want to talk to you. Don't I really you talk to you late. I would rather talk Correct. to you this late. Hold on, what you mean? You don't tell me okay with Ted? I got more women on the street out here hustling, doing things for me every night, every day. Y'all talking Pimp D is the man of the streets. His women belong to the streets. So that is exactly where he will be going in a couple of minutes. Do not ever threaten Ashley in her store or outside. How y'all gonna put me up out this mother man? You feel what I'm saying? I know you just doing your job, big dog, but I drive my BMW, man. I ain't no bullshit. If you was a pimp in the pie shop, well, maybe it's time to upgrade your bitches. So they not bring you a whole lot of money. Here you go, sir. Yeah, see, this all this $400 game, sister. Thank you very much. All I asked for was 350 We appreciate it. Look at him acting like a baby. Pimp who? I don't see any pimp. Anyways, this man was really thrown out to where he belongs. And if he dares come back again, I'll make sure to welcome him to throw him back out. Number 11, sold ring. A woman enters and asks to take her ring off. There was a problem, though. She never made the payment that was required of her to recover it. Check this out, please. You lost the ring to pawn. No, I, no, I didn't. Yes, ma'am. It's a $6,000 ring. That's my grandmother's ring. I brought it in here last month. You said I had to pay the interest on it. I'm coming to get it today. You didn't bring it last month. You brought it four months ago. It's gone, ma'am. It is imperative that Nikki finds a management for this bitch, since they won't be hanging around for very long. So Nikki needs to take action as soon as possible to avoid being embroiled. We loaned this woman money on a ring, and she never came and made her payments. I'm sorry, but when that happens, we need to sell your item so that we can get our money back. That's the way this business works. And it's a three you got me up. Well, no, you got yourself No, up. you got me up. And why am I talking to you behind this glass? Your ass nor be out here. I suppose the plan was unsuccessful, but conversing with Leslie in that manner, this woman is daring and fearless for sure. Goddamn, I wish you luck in this battle. You better be lucky, I can't beat your mother man. Get that your let, let me mother I'm going back in here to get my mother ring. I'm here and you got my mother I've been here for a while, had to pick out a lot of folks out the pie shop, but this is the first time I really had kicked somebody out the pie shop. She really got kicked out of the store. Usually, everyone gets kicked out, but in her case, it was very much literal. Is it deserved? Of course, it is. Did you see her? Stop! We're not stopping. Get your hands off of me! Just keep walking. Don't f me. Look at this, man, look. Look, bro. Man, hold on. Okay, man. Okay. Okay, bro. What's up, people? Welcome back. And get ready for a Hardcore Pawn video full of desperate people on Hardcore Pawn. Let's hop into it. Number 1. 35. A woman walks in wanting to buy a TV for $35. I mean, there literally are $35 TVs, but now the ones she was aiming for. So let's check this shit out. What's that? $35 TV? No, 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 bro. Yeah? Stand right there. $35 for a TV in this what? Near what? It says 19 The flash screen. Let's unhook this one right here. That one's 100 she wants to buy a hundred dollar TV for $35? Damn, this woman is hella insane, not gonna lie. You want this TV, it's a hundred. No, you want this TV, it's 35. Want I want this one. Then you want this one, so this for one's a hundred. I'm not trying to hear what you're trying to say. I'm gonna want these flat screens. Perfect, a hundred bucks. No, this is false advertising. I need to take the down. Did anyone notice that she actually was going to grab a $100 TV and take it with her while she has a payment of 35? Yeah, this never happens as long as you're bullshitting. It's fake advertisement, spell out. Keep walking. No, stop. We're not stopping. Get your hands off of me. Just keep walking. Man, y'all. Whatever, dog. Whatever. Kiss my ass. It's big, too, ain't it? I think she was 
DWI, dressing without instructions. Have a nice day. Don't worry, honey. We all can see that huge ass of yours, but I don't think anyone would actually want it because to be honest, it's full of fat and shit. So bye-bye. Number two, snowblower. A guy walks in wanting to return or get a refund for something he bought two days prior to the second he walked in. But this is not true, and you'll know why shortly. I bought this two days ago here, uh -huh. and this thing broke down on me. Do you have your receipt? No, I don't. Here's this guy telling me that I sold him this snowblower two days ago. Two days ago was my day off. And oop, this guy was caught in a lie. Laugh my freaking ass off. I have no clue how he will be recovering from that mistake, but good luck. Okay, show and me. And I paid good money for how it. How much did you pay? 150 I paid for it. Okay. Show me the receipt. I don't got the receipt. Why in the f can't you give me another snowblower? I could, if you had your receipt. I don't got the receipt. Because you didn't buy it from me. I want the snowblower. And if you have a receipt, I'll be more than happy to deal with you. Why isn't this guy actually understanding all that shit? I mean, he literally just freaking walks in wanting a refund without a freaking receipt. That will only happen in his dreams. So why don't you escort this gentleman with this brand new snowblower and he'll help you take it outside. Don't touch Have me. Have a good day. Don't <laughs> me. Hey, towards door. Take your junkie snowblower. Thank you so much. Have You're a nice welcome. day. Good luck blowing snow today. Did he actually just leave the snowblower here? Wow. It just shows you how desperate people can be. What the hell is wrong with these people nowadays? Thank God he's out. Number three, first time. A woman walks into the store and walks up to an airplane seat just to throw the sign on it that simply says, do not sit. So why the hell would she actually sit? You can't just come in here and make yourself comfortable. It says, do not sit. These are for sale. We don't have like a trial and error. Okay, well, I'm not trying to buy them. I'm just trying to try them out. It says, please do not sit on furniture. These are real comfy. They're for sale. If not, get your butt up and walk out the door. And what you can do is leave me the f alone. Leave you the what alone. Oh, that's cute and very funny. It really is. But like, are you actually serious now? Byron better get this girl out if he can, because you know. Good. How you doing? You all right? No, thank you. No, no. You, you can get your, you can get your hand off. No, get your hands whoa, off of me. Whoa, whoa, what's all that? That's kind of freaky. Harassment. Well, for real? Sexual My harassment. My hands right sexual here. Sexual harassment. Have a good day. No, Have sexual day. harassment. Yeah. Not an airport. So, what the f get your life so I can't sit down in the seat? Sexual harassment? No, this woman is out her goddamn mind. She's really accusing Byron of that shit? Well, we'll see how much further she can go with victimizing herself. <laughs> Are you still gonna keep looking? Are you still gonna keep looking? Are you looking? Are you gonna keep looking? Take care of the twins. Have a good day. It all goes downhill when somebody pulls out their boobs. They know how to run us back in the building. Grow up. I think you just wanted someone to tear you up, like pulling out your boobies. What was the reason behind that stupid act? You're a grown-ass woman. Act like one. Number four, catty teens. Two teens burst into the store and into Leslie's face. They want a refund for a computer that, apparently, did not work. By the way, it was just turned off because of the battery, but oh well. I came here the other day to purchase this laptop. You turned the laptop on for us, uh -huh. and it came on, but then uh -huh. It just shut off. went off, so. so. I'm gonna need you to go back there and get the refund, I'm sorry. We yeah. sold it, gave you the adapter for it. No, you no, didn't. You didn't. Show me the receipt. We don't no. have the receipt. I'm not even surprised that these two dumbasses don't have their receipts. At this point, who even in the history of the store has gotten his ticket with him? No one. You just saw us the other day. You remember us. I do. You don't have the adapter that I gave you. You never gave us an adapter. So go home. Why to... can't you help us? I don't want to go home. home. I so sold it. Walk back there and get us Thank another you. computer because I'm not about to take this home. For God's sake. I'm so pissed at all that bullshit now. They didn't even get the adapter or the receipt, and they came in shouting. Some people really are tripping. Not Bring that. me the receipt. We will never, we will never take care of it. Never adapter. There you Period. go. There you go. I gave you the receipt oh, and an you adapter. Get your stuff. Get your stuff. No, 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 Please, let's go. How much can I listen to this? Please, let's go. Have a good day. Nice teamwork, Les and Byron. The way the computer got passed was too smooth. But finally, we got these two loud kids outside the store. Number five, angry thief. At first, the irate woman enters quietly before exploding in front of Ashley. How is her purse featured when it seems like she has it on pawn? That's my purse right there. That one right there is black one. So I want to know why it's out there. This is your purse. That's my purse right there. How do you know that's your purse? Because I know my purse. If you don't give me the purse, I'm going to climb over the counter and get it myself. Ashley, if that is the case, we ought to be giving her a very harsh lesson, since you are aware of what they say. Liar, liar, pants on freaking fire. Can I look at it? You want to buy it? I just want to look at it and make sure it's not mine. Okay, first of all, I'm, I'm not, not... First of all, don't talk to me like I'm a f***ing idiot. 
idiot. You. Give me my purse or I'm going to come over that counter and get it myself. What's it going to be? Okay. Oh, my God. Has anyone seen how Byron seems to randomly pop up? It was hilarious beyond belief. Well, isn't this woman now threatening Ashley? Oh, my goodness. She will regret this. Have a nice day. Let's go. Oh, Walk what? yourself out, you You. You know you just hit me with that pole, right? Go. Bitch! Go where you got to go. I'm going to kick your go. ass. You wait. Go. It appeared as though Byron and this woman had rehearsed ballroom dancing. The skill is truly gifted, in its own unique ways. Perhaps it is a gift from God. Number 6. Aspiring Singer A wannabe singer simply strolls into the store, plugs an unidentified microphone into an unidentified radio, and begins screaming out like a horse. I'm trying to make it to the top! One day! Hey, 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 hey. Hold on! Why are you cutting my volume off? We can hear you. <laughs> This, in addition to the fact that the only location you could work as a singer is the zoo, where I seriously doubt you'll be successful since I picture you getting attacked by a variety of animals. I'm gonna be a star! You're gonna be something, and all right? I ain't even gonna give you a shout out, no. Are you just been buying this? No, I'm not. I need some money, honey. Good, show's over. Here's a tip. Stop singing. She's actually waiting for a tip? Girl, you're in a freaking store. A store that literally is all about selling stuff, and this shit is on a freaking private property. Oh! <laughs> Please, please. No, 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 no. Pull off. Pull two. Man. Come back here. Pull two. Pull two. That's enough. Singing will last me a lifetime. The radio's gonna be silent on the way home. This woman seems to be high on cocaine, in my opinion. It defies logic that anyone would do such heinous things in public only to seem foolish and make herself look bad. Number seven, liquor bottle. A lady enters with assurance, acting as though she can sell her bottle of alcohol. The liquor bottle is empty, though. Will that even work at all? Woman comes in to sell me a high-end bottle of liquor. Problem was, the liquor was gone. Man, I can't use it. I'm terribly yeah, sorry. Yeah, but don't belittle nobody and don't belittle what they have. I wasn't Because belittle. it's not valuable. To yeah, that's so what they're worth. So you want to take a person down when they're in need? That's what you're saying? Dollars. They're 1200 You know, well, that's more than 100 dollars with the liquor inside the bottle, it was worth 800 Look, honey, we all know you're struggling. However, when Les is acting with such respect, there's no need to treat him disrespectfully. Just demonstrate some comprehension, nothing more. But anytime you're gonna belittle a person, Damn, I didn't belittle they say, I'll you. I'll give you a hundred dollars. It's not worth more than a hundred bucks. They're eight hundred dollars filled with liquor. When you get sick, the money ain't gonna feed you or heal you. You treat people like we must put an immediate halt to this lady. Please simply send someone to Earth from above to completely stop her. A miracle is required. Don't you ever walk up to my dad. Hey, baby, don't point your fingers at my face. him and talk about baby, his store so and talk about face. his health and talk about his life after this. Turn your ass around with your alcohol breath and walk your fat ass out the door now. Never mind. All is well. We received one of Satan's greatest devils, in fact. She confronted her directly as she was aware that she was demeaning Leslie in addition to con artists. Regards, Ashley. Number eight, human hair. This one is quite certain that she can sell some hair in the fur category, but to be honest, it wasn't the true problem at all. The problem is this woman herself. It's Chinese women hair. It's who? Chinese bohemian. Chinese boy man? Bohemian. Oh, bohemian. bohemian. Uh -huh. Bohemian. And I Chinese paid a thousand dollars for it. I wanted eight hundred, but um, the lowest I will go is three hundred. Is it genuine hair? Yes, it is. You it's the kind of Beyonce wear. Beyonce? I'm pretty sure Beyonce came nowhere near this freaking wig for sure. I mean, like, where the hell did this lady get this stupid idea from? Stupid for sure. It's for you too. I could brush it too, and you could call me. You know, it's a lot of things you can do with it. It's good hair. It's it's very beautiful. Do I see me put it on for you again? Sure. Yeah, let's see how many I'm watching change. Bam! Hold this first name. I'm sorry. The health department won't let us sell used hair. OP. It was clear from that glance that she was offended. Leslie, after all, labeled her odorous and dirty in a lot of different ways, and he would have none of it anymore. Don't wipe down everything. Do, but I just can't think. Okay, you, you can right? wipe down the hair. Come There's back. Come, come back when you have. Come back. I'm trying to do this right now. Right now. Why don't you escort her to the salon department? Please. Is it a salon? Is it a salon? Yeah, it's a blow. Wait, he's gonna, he's he's gonna, gonna show it to you right there. He's no, gonna show it to you. Right up, come on. You can twerk it all the way up. How daring of Leslie to believe she is a drag queen. She proves that she is a true woman, my guy. By twerking as Thu, it validates her assertion. I'm glad she went to the parking lot of the salon. Number nine, bodybuilder. When a woman enters to sell her jacket, it becomes apparent that she also has an incredible physique, a builder's body. Watch how this plays out. Could you do me a favor? Yeah. Could you kick his ass? You want me to? I can I pick him up. There was no question how strong this young lady was. I tried to make it a funny little situation. How do you want me to pick you I up? I don't know what you're I'd doing. I'd say pick him up out of here. Don't like 
That's fine. I mean, pick him up. No, no, hey, no. I don't know how I missed the fact that she should have picked up Bobby J, but this guy, goddamn, that hurts so much. But then I brought Rick into the situation. I'm gonna break my back, I'm gonna cry later. <laughs> Bitch, I'm not giving you any money. Take your shirt off. Oh! First time in a long time that a woman put their arms around me. With what he just stated, this individual really made things much worse. That was really disgusting, but it was also humorous. In any case, I'm sure he was horny. I wouldn't. How about 35? I'll go 15 and that'll be it. You want to do 15? Fine. Squeeze his hand. We got the jacket and we had a little fun. Thank you, Good take luck. care, have a good day. In the best conceivable way, they have struck a wise agreement. As everyone is aware, Bobby J's touch was rather the best of the best. Number 10, Beep Star. This is the weirdest thing I have ever seen in my whole entire life. I mean, at first I thought he was an actor. Turns out he is, but specialized in something some of you would like. I've got a lot of vintage stag movies from the 70s. But I just brought a few samples. Yeah, yeah I'm even in there. some of them. Are you you are? Yeah. What's your name? Bones Daly. This guy. Oh. Yeah, this man really is not known at all. I just know this man is up to something with these movies, but I can't quite get my finger on it yet. Don't remember you. Sorry. Yeah, I, it was a short-lived career. What were you specializing in in the, in oh, the movies? I my Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, wow, that's really exciting. First of all, sickening. Next of all, sickening. It's really scary, Les, but I wanted to let you know that you could appreciate it if you give it a shot. Take a look at me, for instance. I mean, look at anyone as an illustration. You can run this in theater. Well, I mean, if you had, like, Gone with the Wind or something like that, you know. If you had that kind of stuff in 16 millimeter, that would probably be, be better off. something that we would look for. Yep. Bones. <laughs> we appreciate it. Gentlemen, Thanks. What did he expect us to do? We're a pawn shop, and this guy's bringing in porn. We don't pawn porn. To be honest, the word pawn sounds a lot like porn. When I first heard this word, my thoughts traveled to areas that some of you may hope are accessible. Number 11, truck driver. This guy is looking to purchase an engagement ring. It appears that he is ready to settle down and wed the woman of his life. That is very pleasant. Let's investigate it. One carat diamond in the center. Two carrots on the outside. Is anybody in there? Hold on, man, hold on, I got you, bro, hold on, man, calm down, I got you. That's probably the man inside. Now, let's consider his justification. He's going to claim that he was rushing and that everyone should wait because he's almost finished. Stupid, move your ass. He's got your parking lot all messed up out there. He's parked right in the front door. He's blocking everybody. Well, I couldn't find parking. You will find your place. Would you like us to find your place to park? I got to go. Be a nice gentleman and please gladly move your car. Or we can't do this real quick. You don't have an option. You have to move your truck. I'll be more than happy to show you a parking place right near the front, but you have to move your truck. No. I'm not moving the damn truck. I'd be twice as stupid if I said that, because Leslie had a very big plan for you before you spoke that bit of garbage. Look at this, man, look. Look, bro. Man, hold on, okay, man, okay, okay, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Move your truck, move the truck, move it, man. Move the truck. This guy's been out here all this time. No, you filthy old bumbler. Not one of them. Not you. Fuck you. In reality, all he was doing was waiting for his trash to end quickly. Well, no. Number 12, pawning laptop. In order to get her son into a technical high school, this mom comes in wanting to pawn her laptop. Truly, may God bless her heart. It is such a kind and kind gesture. Watch what transpires. You head in for 100. But I need 150. I know, but I can't give you 150. Okay, but can you consider the fact that I've been patronizing this business since 97? Uh -huh. I really appreciate you no, you're not appreciating yes, yes, my Yes, I do. I cannot. I'm asking for help, telling me you can't help me, so evidently you don't appreciate you. Don't Am I offering you zero? Do you want the hundred? No, no, I don't. Okay, then goodbye. <laughs> AOP. I caught the glance. I came assessed. Was it simply me who noticed it? In my opinion, no. Because the expression was as stern as they come. Without a doubt, this chick is going to stir up some crap. Oh, I want to see somebody make me leave up out of this mother <laughs> You're not giving me what I want. I, well, I don't give I everybody what they want. want. Well, if you have As something, a patron for, that's been patron you, since 97. Are you a lady or are you a child? I don't give a what I am. What the hell are you with your wrinkled eyed ass? She did not, oh no, she did not just treat Ashley with such disdain, but she'd best not play that prank on us again. Ashley herself is going to boot her ass out of the store. And don't, oh. don't think that you won't, because all I got to do is make a phone call. You know what? Wait. Get out. Get, Get out, out of my store now. I've been patronizing this business since 97. You have an English degree, right? No, I don't. F*** y'all. 
Felix humiliated this woman in an instant. He essentially just gave her the gentlest, most innocent roasting there is. Anyway, her voice irritates me so much that I'm relieved she's no longer with us. Oh, y'all there is if I don't get my back flat the out! Her item's in pawn, she lost her item. What the hell was she saying to me? When you're late, on an item, it's your fault. It's not ours. Here's the way it's gonna work. Here I work on what? Time to leave. I don't give a Put me out this day. Oh, we will. Can I, uh, can I get my, uh, What's up, people? Welcome back, and get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of Karens on hardcore pawn. Let's hop into it. Number one, mother-daughter. A mother and her daughter walk in with a lot, and I mean a lot, of stuff. But guess what? That shit is worth nothing. Stamp book. Don't you think he worth something? No. A whole lot of nothing. Told you it wasn't worth nothing. You need to watch your trap because this worth everything to me. It don't matter. They don't want it. Looks like the daughter has not had it since the beginning. And I kind of sense a huge ass problem that's about to go down. They don't want get the f off my I bought you in this mother world. I'll take your mother ass out. I thought it was kind of funny watching the mother and daughter argue with each other. This worth more than it's everything. Junk. They really are getting creative with these fights, eh? Who would have imagined that these two would walk in and just start fighting weird? Oh, bitch, don't wait, give a wait, about me. Wait a minute for y'all. Bitch, don't give a I can't believe a mother and a daughter were just fighting over a stamp collection. I hate when families fight. I told you it wasn't worth That's my And don't you ever disrespect my No mother no. Oh, thank God they are both out. These two were about to blow up the whole store, and I was kind of here for it, but nah. Number two, loud one. A woman comes running into the store, wanting no one but the owner himself, and I simply wonder why, so let's find out. I'll be with you in a second, ma'am. Uh, no, I need to talk to you now. No, ma'am, you're gonna wait no, your turn. No, I'm not gonna wait my mother turn. I've been in that mother land for 45 mother minutes about my and that bitch told me I lost my and I want my back. One thing she should know about Les. He will help you as long as you don't shout in his face or cause any scene. So good luck. Oh, y'all there is if I don't get my back flat the out! Her item's in pawn. She lost her item. What the hell was she saying to me? Here's the way it's gonna work. Here I work on what? Time to leave. I don't give a Put me out this day! Oh, we will. Can I, uh, can I get my, uh... Haven't you realized? Don't scream at me! Just like I said, this woman seems to not have learned her lesson at all. So how about she gets the hell out of the store? Somebody can yell all the way from the mountaintops with a bullhorn here. It's not, and it never will solve nothing. Nah, these bitches, I went to my fing land to get my sh and these bitches don't tell me that they lost my sh. My motherfucking husband paid on that sh. I won't be back to this mother fing need. I don't think anyone actually wants you back in the first place, so how about you just move on and for God's sake, stop shouting number three converted muslims a woman enters holding two pig sculptures it makes it reasonable that she would want cash for removing them or perhaps there's just nowhere at home to store it however no and we cannot associate ourselves with pork and how, how long ago did this happen i just converted last week he's been trying to get me to get rid of mm -hmm. people come in here with random items of all the things that i've ever seen happen at american jewelry i've never seen somebody bring in a pig statue that, that was crazy i i've never seen that happen before you see i totally understand why she chose to make this decision after all we should honor all beliefs but this is a statue remember nothing more than just a freaking statue mm -hmm. I hit him in the basement, he found them. Right. I hit him in the garage. He come home, he say, honey, I smell pork. I say, and... Yeah. At this point, I had to think fast. I had to tell her anything to get her out of here. The problem is, is uh, we can't take these things in uh, because of the Food and Health Administration. They won't allow us to be able to take stuff in like this. We can't store it. Rich is definitely going along with her now that I know. The Food and Health Administration, is that right? Does that make any sense at all? Will that trick her upon entering the store donning such squalor? What exactly were you expecting? Are you asking your husk about pork everywhere? Crazy as in? Number four, fake teeth. This woman is really irate because she believes she owns the TV in the front. Okay, honey, let's put this first. You do not own this. Why my out here on the floor? It's supposed to be in the back. What brand is your TV? That right there. Right, Hit here, it. take it. Yeah, see him. If it's in pawn, it's in the back. If it's for sale, it's in the front. That's bull. Hold on. 
Let me get this straight. She pulls out her teeth. A whole heck? God, these teeth just appeared out of nowhere. I'm furious right now. Old hag, after me, please. I can't understand. Let's get my right now, Mr. American Long and Jewelry. I shouldn't put that in my panty and walk out. Okay, why don't you go? Why don't you TV? go in line over there and I'll take care of you? How does that? Okay, let me get back on. Put your you. teeth back in. This woman was out of her mind. Go to the window. Give your pawn ticket. I'll be more than happy to bring out your merchandise. Even more repulsive is the way she inserted them. It was that trash that finally broke me. Whoa, the woman is really awful. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. We're all gonna get my. There we go. Where did that come? Are you? All right. Tell Hook to take care of you. Boys, Hook, I'm on Hook right now. Hey, Hook, you got it. That's your ass. Stop playing. Okay, thank y'all very much. May the birds of paradise fly up, you know. And that's that. She truly let her imagination go wild on this one. Emma informs her that a wonderful place to get new teeth is the birds of paradise, given that you're here in need of some. Number five. Caddy teens. Leslie's face and the store were both blown up by two youths. They are asking for their money back for a computer that didn't seem to work. Well, it was only a dead battery, so it was switched off. I came here the other day to purchase this laptop. You turned the laptop on for us, uh -huh. and it came on, but then uh, it, it just shut off. went off. So, so I'm going to need you to go back there and get the refund. I'm sorry. We yeah. sold it, gave you the adapter for it. No, you no, didn't. didn't. Show me the receipt. We don't no. have the receipt. I'm not even surprised that these two idiots are without their receipts. So far in the history of the store, who among them has ever received his ticket with him? You just saw us the other day. You remember us. I do. You don't have the adapter that I gave you. You never gave us an adapter. Go home. Why can't you help us? I don't want to go home. I so sold walk it. back there and get us Dang another it. computer because I'm not about to take this home. Please, Lord. I'm furious with all that garbage now. They shouted when they came in and never got the receipt or the adapter. Some people are indeed very high. Not Bring now. me the receipt. It was never an adapter. It was never an adapter. There you go. It was there never you go. I gave you the receipt and an adapter. Get your stuff. Get your stuff. Get your stuff. Please. Let's go. How much can I listen to this? Please. Let's go. Have a good day. Les and Ron worked a great team. The computer found it too simple to pass. But eventually, we found these two boisterous children outside the store. Number six, Diamond Sound. A woman enters wishing to trade in her gems. These were purchased by her fiance from California a year ago for $1,000. But are they really worth it? See you later. Okay, so look, these is diamonds. My fiance brought them for me in California last year. So how long you been with this guy? We've been together like four years. Really? Yeah. Is he honest yeah. with you? Yeah. Well, they're not real. What? I just love how Leslie said that, El Mao. Like literally, I'm just laughing my ass off because my guy Les did not hesitate to tell her that at all. You know what? Look, these ain't real. Hold on. He wouldn't lie to me. Of and course not. I don't wear no fake I'm blinded by the diamond light. I'm blinded. If they were real, don't you think I would offer you money for them? Unless that's a really clever way to express it. But since she's blinded the diamond and can't hear you over the sound of the diamond, this woman doesn't appear to trust a word you say. You know what he was doing? No. He was waving goodbye because it's time to go. Ain't nobody about to tell me goodbye. Bow, not, no. Bow. Whatever. Told me my ass haters. Bow. Have a nice day. Whatever. Holy mackerel. Hold on. I believe that everyone made some sort of mistake. This woman made a mistake while she was stepping outside. She essentially stopped and began tweeting. Oh my God. Bye. Number eight, angry thief. An angry woman just walks in calmly at first, but then bursts out in front of Ashley. Apparently she has her purse on pawn. So how is it showcased? That's my purse right there. That one right there is black one. So I wanna know why it's out there. This is your purse. That's my purse right there. How do you know that's your purse? Because I know my purse. If you don't give me the purse, I'm going to climb over the counter and get it myself. Well, if that's the case, Ashley, then we really should be teaching her one hell of a lesson. Because you know what they say. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Can I look at it? You want to buy it? I just want to look at it and make sure it's not mine. Okay, first of all, I'm, I'm not, not... First of all, don't talk to me like I'm a idiot. You. Give me my purse or I'm going to come over that counter and get it myself. What's it going to be? Okay. Oh, my God. Did anyone just realize how Byron randomly spawns in? It was so freaking funny. Anyways, this woman threatening Ashley. Now? Oh God, she's gonna regret this. Have a nice day. Let's go. Walk oh, oh, yourself out, you. You. You know you just hit me with that pole, right? Go. Bitch. Go where you got to go. I'm gonna kick your go. ass. You wait. Go. 
This woman and Byron really looked like they practiced some ballroom dancing. Talent really has its ways, and maybe it's God-given, because I see it. Number 9. Fake Gucci A woman walks in trying to pawn a purse she has. This Gucci bag really looks expensive, but just look at this one. It's obviously fake. Get a loan on it, or you guys can buy it. I'm trying to set up for maybe like 150 50 bucks. Why is it $50? The certificate and everything is in there. And the bag costs actually way more than that. Well, if you can tell, it's actually stained all through here. I'm trying to sell it for $150 or get a loan for $75 instead of the $50. I'll just give you some advice, Ashley. Do not further explain why this really is $50 bucks because even though she seems to be calm, she would explode in seconds. If you know purses, then you know that it costs way more than this. Okay, but I'm not going to pay you for the amount that you think it's worth because it's stained. This is not one of the newer ones. This is not this season. I know about purses. But you still willing to buy for $50, though. So if it wasn't worth it, why would you even say $50? Can I so talk to talk somebody else? I don't want to talk to your pepperoni-looking ass. I get somebody My pepperoni-looking ass. Pepperoni-looking ass? That's one hell of a creative roast, not gonna lie. I don't know what it means. I don't want to know what it means. I just like it, but oh, I forgot about Ashley. Can I get somebody else to talk to? It don't even matter. I don't have to talk to you. And I don't talk to you either, so why don't you go home? Can I talk to the owner? I'm the owner. You're not, not the owner. The owner is the other man. You, you must have. How you get here? You your way to the top. You. She's not gonna come to the store and say that to Ashley. No, honey. Ashley did not screw her way to the top. She happens to be the owner's daughter. Oh, anyways. Number 10, jewelry sale. A woman wants to pawn some jewelry, but it gets so surprising seeing where the hell this jewelry was coming from. I mean, how can you be that stupid? I don't know. I was coming here today because I was trying to uh, pawn some jewelry. Okay. You got like some pliers or something? Pliers? Yeah, I need to get this off. You know what, that's all right, I got it. So I was wondering if I could pawn this. I was trying to get like $100 for it. Okay. Before we actually get into it, this woman obviously has a couple of cells missing in that big head of hers. Does she actually want to pawn this? I wouldn't buy it. No, actually, it's real silver. I'm trying to get $100 for this. I mean, if you gonna give it to me or what? Or can I talk to somebody else? No, you can talk to me. Because I see you trying to be funny. I'm not laughing. Are you laughing? You was just laugh. Now you're making an ugly face. It ain't it ain't Halloween no more. Oh, okay. It really ain't Halloween. You're right for saying that. But why the hell do you actually look this stupid and creepy? That's a creepy clown face right there. So you're pissing me off. You this close to getting your ass whooped. Really? Yeah. You're this close don't to touch, getting don't, your don't touch ass kicked out of my store. Me. Don't touch me. You ain't gotta touch me. Stop, you ain't gotta touch me. Bye. The hair got that Ebola too, right? That's that Ebola weave, ain't it? Don't worry about it. God forbid, even if your lips were spotless, nobody would merely take it and sell it at once. It's abhorrent. However, menacing Ashley, your lesson was learned. Number 11, royal treatment. This English woman enters the room believing she is unquestionably the queen of England. Tell her, please, that this will never happen again. Check this out, please. Sorry, lady. My name is Ashley. Okay, Ashley, lady, how much? 400. Come on, how much? 400 dollars. I've come into your store to buy a coat. I ain't come in this store for you to rip me off, but the price does not suit. How much for the coat? Do you not understand? No, she doesn't seem like she understands at all. This woman really seems like she thinks the world revolves around her. Well, it doesn't, and the coat is 400. Do you mind? My exchange rate is absolutely incredibly high. Sorry about that. A British lady here, you know. How much for the coat? I could go 350 for you today if that will help you out. Shove it. Shove it? Shove it? She will undoubtedly be pushed into the parking lot. Sadly, I believe that due to her advanced age, she definitely has some sort of cognitive dysfunction. You want to show her the We're not looking at this big guy, we're looking at you. You're going to make me? You will. I don't think so. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Pleasure. Have I don't good. think so. Have a good day, miss. Have a good day. I'm not interested in your $200. Goodbye, lady! Goodbye, lady! There you go, that's the royal treatment. Good one, Byron. She really ought to greet the queen. However, she wouldn't travel the world appearing to be one if she could genuinely do it. That's all about the need for authority. Number 12, swinging woman. To pawn her ring, this woman enters the room. Rent is something she needs to pay. Truly, she appears suspicious, and I feel horrible for her. Just check this out. I was coming to pawn my ring because I have to pay my rent. Why you keep looking at my ring like that is real? How do I know? So all you have to do is look at the holes in the back and know that it's real And what does that diamond. mean? That is real diamond. Okay, how much you want me? $200. Well, what I can do is I can give you $80. $80. This woman has a gut feeling that it's not even a genuine diamond. She wouldn't even wait for him to finish testing it because of this. The girl is really anxious. You want to pawn it or you don't? Yeah, I want to pawn it. But I'm saying you're going to give me $200, though. That's the only way I'm going to pawn it. So you're going to give me $200 or not? Nice. I just hope Leslie declines, since she seems like she would truly destroy this town. And to be honest, I would prefer it if she did. Therefore, she is going to be humiliated. How would you? Ma'am. Ma'am, what the?
Thank you. This woman not keep control of herself. I don't know what the hell her problem was. I don't give a what her problem was. I don't accept that kind of behavior. She's lucky. My security staff didn't beat her ass. Did she really go after Leslie? The voice of this one person. The soundbite. I'm glad she got booted out because I would have had to come down and discipline her.